One can learn a lot about a person from the contents of their bedroom, where they've been, who they've loved, and most of all, how they choose to display these memories. It was a rough night for our friend Amy, who only got to sleep at 2 a.m., but she's going to have to wake up soon before she's late for school. And, well, she forgot to set her alarm. Good morning, Amy. She gets up out of bed and begins her morning routine, embarking on an emotional adventure over the coming days as her life ends up at a crossroads. She takes the piece of toast, graciously applies her butter, and enjoys her very filling meal. Brushing her teeth, making sure to reach every tooth and crevice. She goes to her closet, but doesn't quite know what to wear. She knows she should try and look pretty, but all she really wanted was to stay in her sweats all day. Amy decided to try. She managed to look nice today despite being dead on the inside after having been dumped by her boyfriend of five years last night. Hey, 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 whoa, okay. It was a mutual breakup, okay? And I'm not the one who's getting all work- There are no voices. There's no voice. Okay, 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 But she knows it isn't true. There was more to that story. She told him she would be okay with ending things, but she wasn't. It was the last thing she wanted. Never would she have thought it would have ended so suddenly. Okay, whoever you are, you are clearly mistaken. So if you don't mind, just just leave. What you see here is a girl who has been caught in the post-breakup denial phase, finding excuses for her actions and trying to cover up as much as possible to lie to herself as if nothing had changed between yesterday and today. Once again, Amy is frustrated and blaming the world when really that isn't the solution. Amy is as much the cause of her own torment as she was for her breakup, and she needs to come to terms with that. Or my relationship, or anything for that matter, so you can just shut up all the time! Amy continued to yell out front of the shop without thinking about the slightest possibility that she may be wrong. This isn't the first problem she's lied to herself about after all. Oh yeah? Okay. What other problems? What do you know about me? She did this to herself after every relationship. After her dad abandoned her when she was 10. After her first boyfriend, Marcus, told her he was gay when she was 16. And now, after she had ruined the best relationship she had because she was just too... Just too what? Just too controlling. Until she realized that there are things that are simply out of her control. Can you just tell me how to fix all this, okay? Just... Give me the answer. I'll be, you know, less controlling or whatever. Amy had yet to realize what it was going to take for her to get out of the slump that she was in. Well, if you're so all-knowing, why don't you just tell me, huh? You can see the future, can't you? You can see the future. You can see the future! Okay, um, do, uh, do, do, do I finish school? Do I, uh, get my dream job? Or something close to that? Uh, do, 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 I, do I get back with Eric? Are we happy together in the future? Are we together in the future? Is he happy without me in the future? What do I do? What, what, what's gonna happen? Just. Just tell me, please. <sighs> Amy returns to her seat demotivated. She realized then that her attitude had led her to do nothing but beg and plead. She got home later that night and threw herself into bed, surrendering to the inescapable reality that her pain had finally caught up with her. The fourth stage. From the looks of it, Amy doesn't seem to be looking so good with her face stuffed in her pillow, drowning in tissues, with a mouth full of ice cream. 
Gargling gibberish through her tears, Amy is trying to say that she's miserable and empty, as if that weren't already clear enough. Although she was emotionally drained, looking like she would never want to leave her house ever again, an opportunity was about to arise. An opportunity to make a mistake. See, Amy had been trying to mend her relationship with Eric when she should have been moving on. Something that isn't going to be possible to get done tonight. Not in the state that she's in. Amy had just come to a wonderful realization. She finally knew how to end her grief. She would have to completely remove Eric from her mind. For the first time in weeks, Amy managed to get a good night's rest. She reached for her phone and responded to the text message by simply saying, All Amy needed was a little time, and maybe a little voice to listen to. Finally, Amy was ready to get rid of what was holding her down these past few weeks, clearing the items from her sight, just like from her mind. There was only one last thing to do. pleasant exchange. No one brings up bad memories or pleads to each other. They seem to be smiling a lot for having just broken up with each other. Amy could now move on and be happy. 